Hello, hello, everybody. Good morning. Well, it's morning right now for me, but I don't know what time you're going to see this video. I wanted to share a tip. Also, a comment that I read um, that she got an orchid and her the roots were so bad. Before buying an orchid, the best thing is before grabbing it and walking off with it, if it's strong, you can pull it from here, but apparently it is not strong. So what you have to do is stick your finger in here you see the pot is in there, pull it out. You see that you have to pull it out and then take it out and check all around if the roots are looking that nice and healthy. And if it's looking good and healthy, then go ahead and buy it. If not, put it back because otherwise you're gonna have a, a great amount of work to do to be looking after it. Now this one has a little bit sad leaf on here. Oh, it's already out. Just disregard it, take it out. One thing I don't like about these stores, like the so-called bigger stores, not like, you know, a Chinese store or um, Asian store or whatever that they sell plants. Usually the big stores always put this. What is up with that? Like, I disagree with that. And I think that is the reason why you see on the top these poor roots like this. You know, because why would you just throw ice on top of it? Three ices in there and it takes a while to melt. You're burning it. You know, ice burns. If you grab a bunch of snow on your hands, what happens after that? What are you feeling on your hands? The same thing, I think, the same thing, the roots. Like, they have feelings too. I'm sorry. That's one thing I don't like about what they do in some stores. And this, you see how this one has bark? It's all bark. This one, for example, it's a nice plant. It's a pretty plant. I believe I already uploaded this little one. It's a small orchid and they put moss. The roots are okay, but the moss, if you wet it, it stays wet for too long. So I'm going to remove all that moss and just put bark in there or probably I will just let, let it be or probably I'll just let the roots be free like I did this one. That one is a baby orchid. Well, it's so-called the mini ones, the mini orchids. It's not the regular size orchids so I took out everything and I just left it in there and and uh, the same thing like uh, once a week I'll just put a little bit of water in the bottom just a little bit so the tips of the roots will touch the water just the tips not the whole plant or not the whole roots just the tips of the root if it's touching water even if it's only two tips that's enough so i'm going to do the same thing to this i'm going to remove all this uh, moss i'll probably put bark and just put it in a new pot and like i said if you check it the way i showed you you will see if it has moss or not because it could have only bark on the top but inside probably moss so check it that's the way you can check if the roots are healthy as well the easy way to water these as well is just get a bucket or a bowl that you're going to use only for your plants. I have a square bowl so <clears throat> I got it from the dollar store and then all my orchids I would take and take this out and then put them all inside the bowl and then I would just pour water and I would leave it for one to two hours. Those two hours they have the chance to be drinking all the water they need and then after that I take them back out and then put them back in their own pots and that's what I do. Okay so I I disagree with the ice cubes I'm sorry. Anyways my friends if you're new subscribe don't forget to click that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Share 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 my videos and hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.